Hello and welcome everyone to Last Level Press. I'm Mr. Black, this is Violeta, and this is Let's Play Hellbear 2000. <laughs> All bearerists must die. So this is an indie game I found on Game Jolt that is made on the action game maker, made by Mr. Tyrus Peace, for a charity, which I will give you the details of in just a moment, but before I get into that and bore you, let's show you why this is awesome and why Tyrus is the best friend ever, because he made... A rather awesome game here. Alright, now I have blue hair. I've gone from Murican to anime. Alright, so this is a pretty simple game. It's a pretty much a side-scrolling shooter that looks really good. It's got kind of that 2.5D feel to it. Left click to punch, right click to shoot. When you punch bears, they change color. You then shoot them with whatever weapon you have in hand to uh, finish them off and kill them. And the more bears that you kill in a row that are of the same color that you are at the time, the more powerful you get and you eventually build up a super... Uh, no. Oh, damn it. I punch you. No, no, not orange. There we go. Blue. Very good. I'm blue. Da -ba -dee -da -ba -dee. Oh, yeah. There we go. If I was bear, I would die. Because I'd get shot in the face with a laser. Yeah, it, yeah, that was kind of mumbly, but... <laughs> I should also note the voice acting in this game is gloriously hilarious. This guy's got a serious sense of humor, and I love it. <coughs> Pardon me. So, of course, this game bears two messages. One of goodwill towards men for the charity, which I will denounce in a minute. Or not denounce, that's the last thing I'm doing. Denote in a minute. There we are, that's the proper word. And a message, a warning. Because, truly, Stephen Colbert was right. There is a threat to all mankind. And that threat is bears. I come bearing this message, which to some may be unbearable. But we must all band together and fight the bear man. I have been felled by the bears in their uh, hella bear backpacks. <laughs> yes, that's where hell bears come from. They're hella bears. Baracopters, if you will. There we go. Let's go for orange this time. All right. And I should also note, I would... All right, I just realized I look like Duke Nukem like this. Only <laughs> Duke Nukem with a mullet. Yes. All right. Hey, you be back. Shoot you, Ken. Oh, damn it. There we go. Now I punch you in face. Nope, 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 nope. Turn orange again. There we go. Nope, there we go. All right, now I kill both of you. All right, all right. All right. Slightly better than I'd imagined, actually. <laughs> I would have left the music on, but uh, this does not feature any amount of music volume control. It's either on or off. And because it is very loud, you guys would not have been able to hear a word out of me. So unfortunately, I have to leave that off for this video. But it's why I gave you guys the rockin' intro. So, anyway, as I try to make it a little farther than I did on my first attempt through this game. How do you like my little wibbly-wobbly legs, by the way? My, I, I just tell knees and anatomy to kindly F right the fuck off. Because I just wibble wobble my way around. Alright, anyway. So while I do that, I'll give you guys a bit of a rundown on what this game is really about. It's not about all killing bearerists. It is about bringing attention to a man that's health. He's better than delicious. No! Then I Damn it! Start up a bear juice stand or something. Anyway. Maybe try it. That man is Daniel Somerville. He's a man from Tempe, Arizona who is an up-and-coming artist. Uh, as I understand it, he has actually been aspiring to work on projects uh, like illustrations for D&D, &D, things like that. Uh, similar sorts of pastimes in line with my own set of interests, so I identify with him a great deal. And Daniel has recently just had surgery to remove a brain tumor. This has cost him and his family upwards of $450,000, it is estimated. That's an enormous amount of money. And this game was really built as sort of a, a fun, positive little billboard of sorts to bring attention to the fact that they are still woefully short of being able to pay that off. At the time that Daniel had his surgery to remove the brain tumor, he was uninsured. So all of that cost is having to come out of his pocket and his friend's pockets and family and anybody else who can help him to pay for that. So this is a guy who needs help. Um, I looked at one of their donation pages, and while they've managed to raise $20,000 and more, and that's amazing, that's awesome, um, 
that's still nowhere near what they need. <gasps> so really, guys, if if this entertains you at all, and if you have compassion and you and you have any amount of money to spare, um, please, I will have links in the in the description of this video. <gasps> Go and visit any one of those donation uh, pages. Personally, I'm barely scraping enough to make ends meet as it is, which is why I'm doing this. I can't personally donate because I have not a cent extra to my name. But if I can make this, and I can bring this to the attention of so many more people than might find it otherwise, hopefully I can help in some way so that you guys, some oh. of you, can donate in ways that I can't to really help him and his family out because they need it. So, uh, sorry to bring this kind of down in the latter half of this video but really i'm sure you guys can understand this is an awesome game and it is a it's it's a testament to just how much love a lot of these guys have a lot of the friends and family of daniel have for him to be able to make something like this as both a tribute to him and as a way to get him the help that he needs and deserves because check out some of his artwork again the the links that i'm going to be posting uh, will be to both the uh, the charity donation page for him uh, and to some of the artwork that he has done um, he's an amazing artist. It would be such a shame uh, for this guy to not be able to achieve the kinds of things that he's certainly got the talent to be able to do because of financial hardship. That would just be a total waste uh, to the artistic world. So, guys, really, whatever you can do to help, please do so. If only because Hellbear 2000 is an awesome, awesome game. So, that's really all I have to say about that. I don't know how long this game is. Um, it, it's probably just this one level, but hey, if it's more, that's awesome. I'm, I'm probably going to play more of it just because it is so over-the-top, <laughs> gloriously amazing and, and entertaining. It's simple, but it's fun. It's a great little yeah. time killer. So really, guys, if you're looking for something fun that you can just play for a couple of minutes in your downtime, uh, in my case, I'll probably play it when I'm waiting for much longer videos to render and to upload and things like that. Um, if nothing else, get it so that you can keep this in the back of your mind so that maybe if you don't have money now, but you will in a few months, say you get that promotion you're looking for, say you get a job that you don't have now, any amount of money I'm sure at any time would help this person and their family. So bear that in mind. And that's really all I've got to say on this. So please keep compassion in your hearts, everybody. I know this is a bit more serious than most of my videos. I'm trying to offset that with the uh, the awesomeness of the game. But uh, please, just, uh, just remember that these are real people that we're talking about. This isn't just some faceless charity uh, that doesn't really mean much of anything to you personally. Um, there's a reason that they've got a picture of this guy sitting in his hospital bed with tubes coming out of everywhere because again it's 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 humanization it's the fact that this is a real person who needs help and so does everyone around him because they're all helping to support him so thank you all for watching and thank you for donating if you do i am mr black this is violita welcome to last level press if you've never been here before we hope to keep you around as future audience members and as always i wish you all good gaming and godspeed Figure if I was one of these bears right now, I'd just go home, I mean. I've seen enough of my buddies just explode into pieces in front of me that I figured might as well just have dinner and watch the game or something. Not get shot by this guy. Might be nicer, you know. Talk with the wife a little. Pet the bear kids. Could be a good night. <laughs>